This is a read aloud of the book "Time to Eat" by Steve Jenkins and Robin Page. What's your favorite food? It's probably not worms, blood, or elephant droppings, but there are animals that thrive on these foods. And it's not just what animals eat that can be unusual. Many animals have surprising ways of collecting, storing, and consuming their food. They may wrap it in silk, roll it in a ball, or glue it to their skin. There are animals that eat the same food at every meal, others that gulp down just about anything, and a few that take a little taste first, just to make sure they like what's for dinner. The giant panda chews on bamboo shoots for twelve hours a day. Not shoots and leaves again. When I read in that high-pitched voice, you can think that an animal is speaking. Okay. Six thousand milkshakes. The tick feeds on just one thing: the blood of a living animal. It may wait years for a meal, but when the tick finally does eat. It can consume as much as one hundred times its own weight in blood. You'd have to slurp down about six thousand milkshakes to have a meal of equivalent size. The shrew needs a lot of energy to keep its tiny body warm. If it goes more than two or three hours without eating, it can die of starvation. Live worms for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The acorn woodpecker chisels a hole in a tree trunk, then wedges an acorn in place. Acorn woodpeckers can tuck as many as fifty thousand acorns into a single tree. Here, the acorn woodpecker sang. I just hope I can remember where I put it. Bunny face. The chipmunk's cheek pouches stretch to hold an astounding number of nuts and seeds. The chipmunk stores this food in its burrow to snack on later. A butcher bird grabs an unlucky grasshopper and impales it on a sharp thorn. This holds the insect in place while the bird eats it, or keeps it handy for a future meal. Ouch! Here, the black widow spider is saying, "Sleep tight." The black widow spider paralyzes an insect with its venomous bite, then wraps it. Helpless but still alive, in a silk cocoon, then the spider can dine on its victim whenever it chooses. The crucifix toad here is saying, "Crunchy, chewy, and inside out." The sticky, mucus-covered skin of the crucifix toad makes a convenient place to store captured insects. The toad regularly sheds its skin, pulling it over its head the way you take off a sweater, and then eats it, bugs and all. The anaconda swallows its prey whole. It can gulp down an animal as large as a deer or pig, and has even been known to devour a jaguar. The anaconda needs only four. Or five meals a year. Here it's saying, "I can't believe I ate the whole thing." Plants make up most of the ostrich's diet. This bird has no teeth, however, so it can't chew its food. Instead, 
It swallows rocks, which are stored in a chamber next to its stomach. The rocks help grind up the leaves and grass that the ostrich eats. The ostrich is saying, "Rock candy." The dung beetle eats animal dung. Poop. The beetle shapes the dung into a ball, then rolls it into its underground home. There, the dung ball will provide food for the beetle, its mate, and their offspring. It's a dirty job," he says. The baby pelican is saying, "What's for dinner, Mom?" This baby pelican is too young to hunt on its own. Instead, it reaches deep into its mother's throat. And enjoys a meal of regurgitated fish. With a mouth shaped like a long, narrow tube, the giant hawk moth drinks nectar from a rare orchid. No other creature can sip the sweet liquid deep inside this flower. The giant hawk moth on this page is saying. Just a little farther. The I I taps on dead trees, rousing beetles and other creatures that live beneath the bark. When it detects movement, the I I chews into the wood and snags its prey with a long, thin middle finger. Here it's saying, "Knock, knock." It might prefer to eat fish, but the tiger shark will swallow just about anything: shoes, license plates, bottles, and even pieces of rubber tires have been found in the stomach of this shark. He's saying, "Garbage disposal." The black rat also eats a wide variety of foods, but it is more cautious than a shark. To make sure a new food isn't dangerous, one rat in a pack will take a nibble and wait a little while. If it doesn't get sick, the rat and its companions will eat more. Here it's saying, "You first." Got milk. Like all mammals, the baby blue whale drinks milk. A lot of milk, the equivalent of eight hundred glasses every day. On this rich diet, a young whale can gain two hundred pounds. That's ninety-one kilograms every twenty-four hours. What would you like for your next meal? To learn more about the animals in this book, turn the page. For those of you first grade scientists out there, there's a lot of information about the animals we just read about on these three pages. I won't be reading all the words to you, but you can pause the screen and get the information yourself. Enjoy reading about these animals.